everyone let's jump into the wonderful world of chemistry with today's video on the periodic table the periodic table was invented in the year 1869 by a russian chemist named dmitri mendeleev at the time not all the 118 elements were there but mendeleev correctly predicted the gaps for the remaining elements to fit into A row in the periodic table is called a period and a column is called a group. There are 12 subcategories in the periodic table with hydrogen being in a subcategory of its own. The subcategories are namely hydrogen, alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, the boron group, the carbon group, the nitrogen group the oxygen group halogens noble gases the lanthanides and the actinides now i am going to identify a few elements using their atomic symbols any sodium derived from the latin term natrium k potassium derived from the latin term gallium u uranium la lanthanum be beryllium hg mercury derived from the latin term hydrargyrum fe iron derived from the latin term ferrum co cobalt b boron au gold derived from the latin term aurum AG Silver derived from the Sanskrit term argonas SN Tin derived from the Latin term stannum W Tungsten derived from the German term wolfram The last one PB Lead derived from the Latin term plumbum Now I am going to show you a few common elements and compounds that you can find at home. Let's start with the elements. This ring is made of gold. This tumbler is made of silver. This tumbler is made of copper. And these nails are made of iron. Let's move on to the compounds. Inside this stainless steel tumbler which is made of chromium silicon nickel and iron you have water which is made of hydrogen and oxygen this bronze cup is made of tin and copper here you have sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda and here is another very common thing common salt What are the five most abundant elements in the universe? Hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon and neon. How many radioactive elements are there in the periodic table? 38 radioactive elements out of which 25 are synthetic. Why are transition metals called the transition metals? Because they are the transition from the alkaline earth metals to the boron group. What is vulcanization? The process of adding sulfur to rubber to make it stronger. What is galvanization? The process of adding zinc to steel to make it anti-corrosive. Why does photochromic uh, lenses turn to a different color when the sun rays hits it? Because of added silver chloride. What is the difference between atomic weight and atomic number? Atomic number is the number of protons in an element. Atomic weight is the number of protons added with the number of electrons and neutrons. What do you add to the gold to make it white gold? You add palladium to the gold to make it white. Let's have some fluorine, uranium and nitrogen. Did you get it? F U N. That spells fun. If you take one atom of cobalt two atoms of iron mix it all together and you got coffee if you mix one atom of barium with two atoms of sodium 
you get a banana. What if you inhaled a lot of helium? I'm sure you would sound quite silly. Hee hee hee. <laughs> Always remember beryllium, nickel and cerium. Be nice.